The big question at the Amex, could Brighton extend their unbeaten league run to 19 games this season? They're in for quite a shock as the Addicts scored twice from devastating counter-attacks inside the first four minutes. When Brighton conceded possession here, Charlton, with just two wins from their previous 14 games, took over. Iranian international Reza Gutanijad was the instigator, and 18-year-old Adimola Lukman scored his first career goal after signing from non-league football. Then deja vu for Chris Hutton and the Brighton fans. From a home corner, the Addicts produced another lightning break. The ball is worked to Lookman, who then terrorised the Brighton defence. The attack was subsequently recycled and Johan Gudmundsen crossed for Gucanijan to score his third goal of the season, two of them in the league. Dreamland for Charlton. It perhaps should have been three for a rampant Attic side. This time Ricardo Vazte got in across. Gu Chanijad's header produced a smart save from David Stockdale. Brighton hardly looked like promotion favourites as they gave the ball away again. Goodmundson seemed certain to score. Stockdale again the hero, palpitations all round the Amex. In the second half, the Seagulls suddenly found their wings. On loan, Man United striker James Wilson with a magnificent solo effort. He left three defenders in his wake as he netted his first goal of the season. The transformation was obvious now as Brighton began to pile the pressure on. Solly March patiently waited for a chance. His shot was pushed onto a post by the acrobatic Stephen Henderson in the Charlton goal. Then the game's turning point as Patrick Bauer tangled with Bobby Zamora just outside the box. Ref Keith Stroud produced a second career red for the Charlton defender this season, despite mass protests. With seven minutes left, the Seagulls suddenly got out of jail. March with a dazzling run and cross. In the melee, Zamora collected his fifth goal since rejoining Brighton. Two minutes later, Chris Hutton's side completed a remarkable comeback when Israeli sub Tom Hamed headed his first goal in 11 appearances. The Amex went bonkers. The Brighton manager reflecting on a game of two halves. What was the half-time team talk about then? Um, probably two things. Uh, we or a few things actually, we, we needed to be patient on the ball because I think on any way that we wanted to go gung-ho and get two goals back in the first five minutes then they, they were good enough on the counter to pick us off so we needed to get back into the game um, on as regards possession and uh, to, to work our way into good areas. I think you know the way the game is, you get one goal and, and the momentum changes a little bit, the crowd gets louder and we knew we'd have a chance if we got the one goal back and uh, I think that's the way